just the first day, I lost my passport. Hey guys, so in this week's video, I would like to try something a little new, something a little different. So um, I wanna tell you guys a little personal story time kind of thing. Tapi sebelum video ceritanya ini mulai, aku mau kasih tau kalian bahwa besok, aku, besok hari Sabtu tanggal 7 Desember, aku bakal ngadain meet and greet bersama cakep.com di Grogol. Jadi kalau misalnya kalian pengen ketemu, pengen ikut workshopnya, um, jangan lupa daftar di link yang aku akan taruh di komen atau di description box. Jadi I'm look, really looking forward um, to see you guys, karena kita bakal ada workshop seru, bisa ngobrol-ngobrol bareng, bisa aku koreksi bahasa Inggrisnya, jadi dan aku bahkan ngasih beberapa tips untuk bisa menjadi fluent di dalam bahasa Inggris. Jadi I'm looking forward to see you tomorrow and let's get to the video. So around like Christmas, New Year's last year, um, I went to Spain like an impromptu solo trip to Spain because I thought that I was gonna stay in the Netherlands to work a little bit between Christmas and New Year's, but apparently the the office is gonna be closed and no one nobody was gonna be there. So I decided to just like you know what, let's go somewhere. Like let's find a cheap ticket and see where I'll go. And of course being me, naturally I will always choose Spain over other countries even though there are other um, places to go to but I thought like I wanted to go to Spain because I wanted to speak Spanish so cheapest um, last minute tickets there are to Spain it was either Barcelona or Alicante but Barcelona was a lot cheaper and I liked Barcelona at the time so I wanted to um, spend just a week there um, so I decided that you know what I'm gonna go to Barcelona this Christmas New Year's and really like speed up my um, Spanish before the year ends and I'm gonna speak Spanish as much as I could so booked the ticket right, as you know that my intention of going to Spain uh, for that holiday was not to like um, it was wasn't really to travel wasn't really to relax or wasn't really to do anything but but my my but my primary intention of going to Spain that time was to just speak Spanish as much as I could. Um, so I don't know, I, actually, I was actually looking at some host families to stay at, but I couldn't. So anyways, I just stayed at an Airbnb uh, with a Spanish um, host, which was nice that I got to speak a little bit of Spanish with my host at the time. But anyways, I think I arrived um, sometime that night and then I went from the airport, took the metro to where I was staying in the very, um, in, in like the center of the city. And um, I think I went to sleep quite afterwards, talked to the host, went to sleep, and then when I woke up in the morning, I suddenly thought, you know, I think I haven't seen my passport in a while. And then when I looked through my bag, one thing that I was very proud of myself was that I was not in panic mode. I was just like, oh my God, I lost my passport. Where could it have been? Was it stolen? Was it um, taken out of my bag? Did I drop it somewhere? But like, I really just took a deep breath and like, okay, it happened. What are the next steps? All right, I'm gonna go to the police um, and ask for like a um, police report and denuncia in Spanish. So yeah, I think um, I was actually supposed to go to Figueres um, to meet my friend at the time, but I had to cancel with her because I really needed to get this done. So I went to the, um, I walked to the um, police um, I remember in the police station, the vibe was just not great. You know, there were like, I think two other people before me who, who were also looking very panicked because they lost their bag, they lost their wallets. It's like, oh my God. It's like, it, it, it was not nice seeing that, but in a way it felt nice that, you know, I wasn't the only one alone that day who lost like a valuable. But anyways, I think when it was my turn, um, obviously like the two Spanish officers spoke to me in Spanish right away. Um, I think they didn't even speak a word of English, so that really forced me to speak in Spanish. Um, but you know, this was what this was what was going on in my mind. They were both speaking so fast that I did not have time to really doubt what they were saying. So for some reason, when they were talking to me in Spanish in like full speed, I could understand. You know, like I didn't understand like word by word, but I understood like the main keywords. It's like, oh, what do you want? Or like, oh, what happened? And but then surprisingly, I suddenly told them that I lost my passport. I told everything that w that went on, um, that happened in Spanish. And I was so surprised when I actually talked to them. I was like, wait, 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 wow. Kok lancar banget? Kok tiba-tiba keluarnya gampang banget? It just, it just came out so easily. I'm pretty sure I messed up a lot with my grammar or like whatever, but apparently I was good enough for these um, two native speaker Spanish officers to understand. Um, it was like, yeah, yo he perdido mi pasporte y en el puerto anoche y uh, tomé la metro, tomé el metro y tomé el metro um, por mi casa, pero 
yo he perdido mi pasaporte en el camino, yo no sé. It was like something like that, you know, even though I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I've made so many grammatical mistakes, right? But it just went on, you know? It's like for some reason, like I didn't even maybe I had to think a little bit. Let's say all of those things that I learned in my Spanish book, I knew right away. Oh, like the past tense of tomar of of to take is this uh, of that. And I felt like because I was in a panic mode, I didn't really have time to overthink, to really care about the grammar this and that. I just said it, you know, I just said it to the officers and they understood. Probably, yeah, I probably said it in a bad grammar, but they didn't really care, you know, as, as long as um, I communicated what I wanted to say. So like, I, I think I told them like I was, I, came from the airport I took the metro to my um, to my Airbnb and then I lost my passport I don't know how it's like that was enough you know that was enough for them to understand and I think that was the one thing that was very much um, that really boosted my confidence up and I was like wow you know what if I, I was like if I really let go of my perfectionism and just really focus on what I would like to communicate to the other person apparently you know it just it just goes on it, it, it just goes naturally you know so I think at the time I remember I think we talked on for like five minutes or something que voy a hacer es posible para regresar a Holanda um, um, sin el pasporte something like that and then like um, well in the end if you wanted to know um, um, it's actually not that big of a deal that I lost my passport because I still have the Dutch residency um, so um, I just went to the airport to get the police report there because um, they couldn't provide it there um, and then it was enough the police report and my um, Dutch residents were meant to travel back to the Netherlands which is great but if I had um, to travel back to Indonesia that would have been a problem so anyways I think it was I was I think um, I was very happy with the answers that they gave me and I was very happy about the fact that um, I was able to speak Spanish so when I um, um, exit the um, police building I swore to God that I had like the biggest smile um, that day even though like I had just lost my passport I had to like go through the hassles and that I had to like cancel my plan with uh, my friend in Figueres I was still feeling so happy because my goal of being in Spain my goal of like um, staying in Spain was actually achieved like I want to speak Spanish I would like to be you know to like really level up my Spanish to be more uh, more comfortable and it just got achieved in the first day but it's kind of like sure I may have lost my passport but I gained confidence in being able to speak Spanish of course I mean, like it's a it's a huge cost um, losing your passport, but it wasn't that big of a deal at the time because it was like um, end of 2018 and that beginning of the year in 2018, I put a goal to myself that I would like to be fluent in you know conversationally fluent in Spanish, and that I think was the 28th of December 2018. I completely um, remember the date. Um, that, um, and on the 28th of December 2018, I found out that I actually was already conversationally fluent in Spanish, um, and. Um, and that realization that my goal, my 2018 goal was achieved, it was really, really great. Like, I didn't even care that I didn't have a passport at the time. You know, like, I'll go back to Holland, I'll make another one, big deal, you know? So, um, yeah, it was, um, so yeah, that's like my short story. Um, I, like, I hope you got something out of it in the sense that, you know, um, in order for you to speak a language, it doesn't really have to be perfect. And it's what, what is important is to actually see the, um, uh, the language as a tool to communicate instead of like being too wrapped up about um, sounding perfect, um, sounding um, like a native, this and that. You know, what matters is that the person that you're trying to communicate with understand what you're trying to say, this, um, despite um, the messiness of your grammar, the lack of knowledge of you are, of like some vocabulary, this and that. So, yes, um, so that is um, so far my story of how I found out that I was actually, you know, I'm comfortable, fluent. Eh, not fluent, let's say, that I was um, com conversationally comfortable in Spanish. And yeah, so if you like this uh, story or um, if you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up and also comment down below. Maybe I could do a little bit more videos like this in the future. And and guys, um, yes. So, and don't forget to register for the workshop for the meet and greet tomorrow um, if you would like to join. I'm really looking forward to see you guys tomorrow. And if you are not going to be there, I'll just see you next week then. So have a good day and bye-bye.